Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Every family, every dad, every mom. Welcome to everybody. My name is Miss Soul Manuela Sepe, and I'm glad you make it to that mock teacher conference. Okay, um, I'm glad you're there. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to let you know that uh, our children are awesome. I mean, they are amazing kids in my class. I love to be surrounded by children. I love to teach. I love to I love to make friends. So I'm feeling great our children. So um, recently we make uh, we make rhyme words with the kids, such uh, I make uh, the compare 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 two words like the 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 they have the same sound that like cut hot. This would not have the same spelling, but uh, they have the same sound, the same almost. Our children are able to blend words. They can they can build hold. These are so amazing. The, the, these words are so amazing. Uh, um, for example, I have Jeremiah and Senas, who can all already broken small word such map M A P, mop, a uh, pop. P O P, red R E D. The children are amazing. They make my days. So, for example, um, recently I I teach them to count the count uh, like one to two to one to one to ten one to twenty. Some of them are good in math. Some of them are not. For example, I use by ten block to help them calculate answer or to prove their works. Okay, um, by ten block help them create a design and build structure. The design and structure lead them to employ spatial visualization and to start working and build the geometrics concept like shapes, uh, perimeter, area, and volume. Mm. I have to tell you guys. For example, I know Miss Foley, who is the mom of uh, Annie. Do you know Miss Foley? Annie, can you see her to to cut on online? She's able to to build a structure using block. And for example, Adam and Isaac can have an appropriate pencil grip now at first grade. I have to tell you guys. I mean, the uh, kids are amazing. Mark, for example, have been able to to ride a two wheel bike. You know, Andrea have been uh, able to 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 jump on one foot. Even she's she's fighting to walk by herself. Um, that's a good move. You know. And and it despite their disability, see she she doing great. When James and and Alicia are able to use phenomen by phenomen by make certain words sound like that's supposed to be. Uh, as I remember, um, as I remember, um, I mean Jaden does not scream anymore. When I when I when and when I try to teach him, you know he he don't run away right now. So I encourage you guys to 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 feel to make it comfortable, okay? I use small group discussion and to help them uh, 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 embrace embrace the learning because every child are unique. Every child have their own style of learning, you oh, know. Um, and, and small group discussion, these kids are very active. They ask good answer and they are ready to read a lot with fluency. I'm always glad to give them the right answer. Okay, okay, and I encourage you parents to play with your kids at home. They will develop the motor skill, and and when you play with them, they will be able to read better in class. And with good effort and good leadership, ladies and gentlemen, with friendly partnership with me, and we will make smart kids for the world world. Okay. Thank you so much, and I'm glad you to be there. I will don't have time to take questions. That will be on the next session. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Be well.